hi guys welcome to my channel Mundi here if you're new here this is a fragrance channel and if you love fragrance please subscribe so today's video is about the pink sugar perfume collection the collection has the original and eight flankers but what we are going to talk about today is the original and the latest two flankers i know there have been so many videos about pink sugar everyone knows pink sugar by now and i just wanted to share my thoughts because when it when i had um the third when i just received the second flanker in my collection i felt like i need to talk about this and so here we are actually before i go further there's a, a thread on <laughs> It's a thread on Fragantica that was quite interesting. A friend of mine put me onto it and I'll leave it in the description below. It's all about YouTubers and there was one particular comment about everyone talking about pink sugar and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I know, I know it's been spoken about a lot but I'll still speak on it because I love pink sugar and I have a few things to say about it it won't be a long video so we'll start with the original so what I'm going to talk what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about one perfume at a time and compare it to the others and I hope that makes sense so we begin I'll begin with the original this is the original pink sugar I've had it for I think I've had it since 2018 not this bottle precisely I've had this is my third bottle of pink sugar I started with a 30 mil went to a 100 mil ran through it and here we are now onto my third bottle it's a lifer for me but this perfume is not a safe blind buy in my opinion uh, so this one was launched in 20 um, zero four and it has top notes of raspberry orange fig leaf and bergamot i don't really get much of the um the fruity notes and then in the middle it has cotton candy which is very predominant in this perf perfume it has some licorice it has a red berry strawberry lily of the valley then in the base we have caramel vanilla musk tonka bean and sandalwood so this is a predominant this is predominantly a cotton candy perfume that the same way you smell cotton candy at um, the kids fairs if you if you smell cotton candy this is similar to that except it's a bit synthetic in my opinion so imagine cotton candy with a bit of a synthetic um, accords to it yeah so and it has vanilla and caramel so uh, I am going to spray this because this is not my scent of the day what I'm wearing although it would suit perfectly my scent of the day is Angel Nova my outfit and my vibe today just screamed Angel Nova so I don't know what you guys are wearing so I'm just going to spray it on this tray so yeah it's it's a very strong a perfume the minute you spray it very strong and the cotton candy is there from the top all the way to the dry down the caramel is not so much to me it's not so much and the vanilla is there obviously then yeah so each time um i wear this people would say you smell sweet so yeah it just gives off that sweet childlike vibe and it lasts up to eight hours on my skin like each time i would wear this and it projects loudly even at the end of a work shift people would say wow you smell sweet and other people would say it smells fresh I don't know I think it could be maybe I also used to get that vibe so it could be that then it's also very unique I haven't smelled anything that smells like pink sugar it's unique in its own right to me and yeah I feel like it's a very successful perfume and that's why it has so many flankers for a chippy this is a chippy that is worth 
buying in my opinion especially for a gourmand lover so i would say the origin of pink sugar is for those girls who are gourmand lovers or those girls who like very sweet perfumes even a guy if you if you don't mind sweet perfumes so to me the original is the ultimate gourmand in the line i haven't smelled the other ones but of the three this is for the common lover and this is one that i would wear in winter it's not one that i pull out anyhow anytime but if you spray a few sprays you might get away with it but this is one i'd say is for winter in my collection okay so we move on to the next uh perfume and this flanker came out this was the first flanker to come out in 2020 before creamy sunshine so this is pink sugar berry blast and if you can see the dent compared to that although i have had this longer you can tell which one i prefer i prefer i like this one it's a life right? it's on my love list but this one is also another one that i love i i find that the scent profile i prefer this to that and then the creamy sunshine and that's simply because this one is a fruitier version of the original and uh, if we have to speak on which one is a safer blind buy i'd say a berry blast is uh, the safest of the three and it's more people pleasing so that's why i'm saying it is the safer one so this one is fruitier and lighter to me it's lighter a bit a fresher the freshest of the three more people pre pleasing uh, so this one has a lot of berries um, in the top so if you can see even the blue the blue color i find that people uh, perfume companies usually go for blue when there's a lot of when there are a lot of berries like it's very really blueberry blackberry so this one uh, let me read the notes to you guys so this one has blueberry in the top blackberry it has orange it has bergamot so the notes are not very different even the original has orange and bergamot in the top uh, but raspberry instead of blueberry and blackberry then it also has cotton candy so it's got that dna of the pink sugar um this smells very similar to pink sugar compared to creamy sunshine then it also has in the middle some cherry wild strawberry and coke then in the base it has caramel vanilla tonka bean cedar and moss so we still have um some caramel and vanilla and tonka bean in the base and then the cedar instead of uh, sandalwood and there's no mask so yeah i with this one because i feel it's a bit lighter than the original and fruitier uh, fruity notes sometimes need something to hold them down uh, so this one get, gives me about five hours longevity other people say they still get the same longevity but on my skin i get five hours longevity and it's a bit less synthetic i feel it's a bit less synthetic and it develops as original so in the top it's fruitier but as time goes by and it dries down it dries down to the original so that's the second one and obviously my favorite of the three but i still like the original so far in my collection the ones i always always have are these two with this one being the one that i prefer when it comes to the scent so guys don't mind my voice it just seems off i i have a cold so that's why so we move on to the third uh perfume this is also another flanker that was um, released in 2020 the latest flanker that is this is pink sugar creamy sunshine so this is one i also i've also used it a lot but i constantly have to remind myself what it smells like because it's not my my favorite of the list i feel like this one is not is the least surface to blind buy so when it comes to blind buys i'd say if you have to try pink sugar start with berry blast or go to the original or either depends on who you are because berry blast is for the fruity 
perfume lover but this one this one i feel is for a girl who likes more floral uh, perfumes and coconut because it's very coconut heavy so when you first spray it it's not as similar to the original as berry blast is and it's got a lot of coconuts in the top and a lot of florals um yeah let me read out the notes for you guys so it has coconut milk orange mandarin um then it also has bergamot so bergamot is there so it's the orange and then there's green mandarin introduced and coconut milk then in the middle we have sugar so we don't have cotton candy we just have sugar we have ylang ylang gardenia tiara flower mimosa then in the base there's caramel vanilla monoi or sandalwood and moss so yeah this one is not the easiest to wear and i have seen other youtubers also mention that they and i got this uh from a friend she just sprayed it once and didn't like it yeah it's it's not easy to love but this is one i'd wear in spring this is one i'd say if you're a coconut lover floral lover you are not that much into gourmands because this is not as sweet as the other two and you're not into very fruity perfumes so this one is the one for you then i i get four hours on my skin and then it becomes a skin scent in the top it's not very similar to the original but when it dries down it becomes a bit more similar so that's the thing about this one so basically that's all i have to say about this one as well these are the three so when we talk about let me just talk about scent wise i'll say this is the best when it comes to the scent followed by the original then this this one the creamy sunshine longevity i'd say we start with the original beast mode then berry blast then creamy sunshine then when it comes to safe which one is the safe blind buy i would say you start with this one it's very fair fruity perfume lover then we go to the original then we go to creamy sunshine yeah so that's all i have to say about this collection if you're interested in them you can yeah you can check out my recommendations as i have said then let me know what you think in the comments if you're interested in reading that fragrance cardboard which was bashing <laughs> youtubers and everything you find it in the description box thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one